crispy. Fresh pop. <laughs> Just what we need to get back into this ADP discussion. Welcome back, everyone. If you'd like to join in, uh, hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty, at Dynasty Big Co, at IMC Myers, at J Wayne's World. For your pleasure. M Y E R S. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the combine is hot and heavy right now. We're not here to talk about that because it doesn't really matter. We're going to keep going with the ADP. But I just wanted to point out, like, why is everyone running their 40s wearing a chain? Like, what are you doing? You know who's not wearing a chain running the 40 right now is Michael Crabtree because Tlaib took that shit. <laughs> so let's get into some Michael Crabtree. He's got an ADP of 85. We just got done talking about Chris Godwin, who, who's at 81. These two, two different players going in opposite directions career trajectories at this point crabtree's approaching the wrong side of 30 there's been up and down roto world blogs whether or not you know the team wants to keep him the team wants to get rid of him but john gruden wants to keep him they're keeping him they're getting rid of him i don't know what's going to happen i think they're probably going to keep him that makes sense he's going into the fourth year of a five-year deal what do, what do you guys are you guys in on uh, michael crabtree at this adp or is it time to move along like his chain well this year he finished his the 30th PPR receiver last year, he was 12th. So it's a decent disparity or uh, disparity. Disparity. <laughs> disparity, but the offense was just awful this season. Wheels fell so off. The wheels fell off this thing. You saw Crabtree have a couple of decent games to start the season and, and sprinkled a couple in there during the season, but just couldn't put the same kind of uh, year together as he did in, in oh and oh six and 16. Um, so, you know, you had Derek Carr out. You just had a, a different kind of system in there that wasn't working and wasn't looking good. Oh, we mentioned it in the middle of the year that it was just awful the way they were trying to – they didn't know if they were running it or passing it. They were they, – it just wasn't working. It was, it was not good. Crab started off strong. He – six for 80 week one, six for 80, and three touchdowns week two. Bummer on week week three, but then six for 80 in a touch, six for 50 in a touch, three for 20 in a Which touch. Which is why you drafted him. Those six for 50, 40, and then sprinkling some touchdowns there is, is what you were looking for. Obviously, he finished 12th the year before, so there was – a ton of good games in that season. Yeah, I mean, he he started off good this year or, or last year, and it just the wheels fell off. The whole the entire team was just out. Just they were Super Bowl bound in the preseason. You know, it was the the Raiders had made this postseason. They were the, the one before. team that could knock the Patriots off. I know they were the team. They were the team coming up. They had the the quarterback had gotten hurt the year before, right before the playoffs, and they just had all this momentum. They were coming back. It's supposed to be good. Got his chain snatched again. I mean, just the, after just, taping it to his chest. The, the second snatching, yeah, was just fool me once, right? You know, shame yeah. on you. He, the the fool me can't get fooled again. <laughs> Tells the George Bush quote to, <laughs> to get you, <laughs> to get your chain snatched off the second time is a little bit disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> by the same guy, no less, right? <laughs> and uh, prepared to and, not have it snatched. And you by tried to tape it. it to your chest, you. Daryl. And then you try to fight him with no helmet on. He do right. still has his helmet on, so that wasn't going to go well. Crabtree's Both got no those, mojo, no self-respect anymore. Both I gotta, of those two dudes are idiots. Does any of that matter, though, for fantasy football? No, right? absolutely not, not. Not at all, but I guess well, to get Lack back to ability, the question, I guess. at 85, I think I'm okay. Like if, if I've come through the draft here, if we're talking about just ADP strictly and not trading and, and all that other stuff in an existing team, if I built my team a certain way and, and I wanted to try to get another player who I'm sure or, or at least pretty sure is going to score me points most weeks. I'm okay with taking Crabtree at, at this particular juncture and, and knowing that I'm only, you know, get, maybe I'm getting another year or two, hopefully three. Sure. But, well, obviously, you know, Fitzgerald's still churning on strong and pumping out wide receiver one seasons, but the, the Crabtree's got the big three O by his name now. This, this time last year at 29, and 29 looks a lot better than 30. And for the last two seasons, nobody's been banging the drum louder for Crabtree than I have as being an extremely good value when it comes to putting somebody in your starting lineup every week. 16 and 17, 15 and 16 were just ridiculous for Crabtree. And I picked him up. I traded him and put him on my team going into 15 in, in one league and then going into 16, Casey and I put him on another team that we had together. And this year coming in, at 85, you might – you. You start to question. You got to start people, pumping it, the brakes yeah. because there's no way to go up from here for him because this time next year he's gonna be 31. There's no way to go up from here. Right. Nothing wrong with putting that solid production on your team, 
But just know, like Casey said, depending on how your team's put together, Crabtree, if he has a bad season this year, he's going to be in the... It's going to plummet. It's going to be 280p. Yeah. If he has a good year, it might be 79, it might be 85, it might be 90. He's not really going up. So he's 30 at now, and that just, like I said, it looks a lot worse than 29. you got to really pump the brakes on this thing. But if I, I imagine, honestly, I don't think there's any way... This is pre-combine ADP. This is February ADP here. There's no way, honestly. It stays there. It stays there. He's right. got to come down. Exactly, Casey. Exactly. It's got to come down a little bit because some of these rookies are going to come up and be forced up, and everybody's going to have rookie fever on the clock. It's 30. He's, a lot of he, uncertainty already around Crabtree. At, There's going to be even more once players go places. Exactly. There, Crabtree's, I guarantee you, if, if you if you have a startup 30 days from now or more, Crabtree is farther down than 85. I guarantee you he goes farther down the list in this and he can become a decent value again i i think there's nothing wrong with having crabtree and the teams that i have crabtree i don't feel bad about him you're obviously not selling high there's no selling high after the way that season ended for him and he had a couple of really terrible games some duds so, so I, you got him you're like stuck with him right yeah you're stuck with him right now but in the season if you have a bad team that's not really contending i guarantee you if he's playing well somebody will give you something for him it's just right now he's got a lot of stink on him. The way he ended the season, it couldn't have gone worse for you if you a Crabtree owner. And there, there's already a, plenty of people who just don't think Crabtree is good and don't didn't respect Crabtree in the first place. Sure, but plenty it's the last people. Yeah, but you got to look at that those season numbers for, for the sure. Last. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't saying. I just think like in the perspective of of most other people, there's a lot of people who just don't like Crabtree in general and probably disrespected him even in those in the 15 16 years i know i get you we got him for a second we we traded a a late second for him coming into this year hoping to just put another guy on the bottom of our bench after 15 we used him for 16 okay yeah we uh, in 15 i know it goes fast in 15 he goes 85 for 922 and nine touchdowns (laughs) that's he had to find somewhere to put that in there and tw- in 16, he doubles down with 89 and eight touchdowns and 1,000 yards. So, I mean, both of those two seasons were just you love to have him in your lineup every single week. And a down season last year, and uh, obviously everything I just said, he ain't getting no younger. He's not getting any younger. And, and if I obviously – well, I agree with you. I think that as this progresses, the ADP will continue to slide down. And if I th- if I think that I'm I'm really uh, proud of myself and the team that I drafted coming in to the year here and, and coming into the around the let's just say 80 to 90 ADP range and I think that I got a good chance of bringing this thing home very first year in a startup I'm okay with taking crabs other than that I'm just staying away from them. I agree with that. Even in a crappy year, he just put up eight touchdowns. And next year, if something happens and this offense gets back on track, he could be an absolute monster deal at the, in the middle of the draft because he's definitely sliding down from this ADP. After that crabby year he had, <laughs> um, I, I get the I, if, if depending on how you built your your startup team up to this point, I could see you wanting to be in here just to get some solid a guy that's probably going to bounce back if he's with the Raiders, probably anywhere he goes, even if he doesn't, isn't with the Raiders. I don't hate that idea either. So, but it's not a sexy pick. He's definitely not going to ever be any more worth than what he is right now. It's I, there's, there's younger, more sexier picks with more potential to be had right around this area. Um, if he were to fall further, like you guys are predicting. And I, I kind of agree with that sentiment. Then I'd be in a little bit later, I think, for sure. Yeah. But here, I think I'd probably rather take a swing on on a younger, higher potential dude. No doubt, sure. take that back to Godwin. Four picks ahead of right. him, right? Absolutely. Now, you got to take Godwin and then double this ADP in your draft. I guarantee you, at one fifty, one sixty, I can put you in a veteran that's going to be startable, a veteran wide receiver that's going to be startable, and you can have an asset like Chris <laughs> Godwin that would grow versus. Crabtree's age is going to turn him into a liability. I could put you in a family, (laughs) four-door, five-star safety rating, get you a Volvo at 150. Bro, I'm crushing the Volvo used car market right now. (laughs) No, I think think that's all all really good. I think think that's a decent insight on on Crabtree. I think we spent enough time on Crabtree. Way too long talking about it. Well, just that you... There you Take Godwin. And then grab Marquise Lee in three rounds. Yeah, sure. take Marquise Lee right here. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to Marquise Lee, but let's uh let's transition to the next guy in our list. Uh, that'll put a bow on on Michael Crabtree. 